Today I'm going to be uh, giving you a quick lesson on life because you know what? Why not? So what's the meaning of life? Well, to me, I feel like the meaning of life is happiness, really. If you're not enjoying life, then chances are you're probably not happy. Now, I know a lot of people hate this phrase, but it's annoyingly true, man. YOLO. You only live once. You gotta make sure you're happy in that life, bro. Now, a lot of people will dictate and tell you how you should live your life, but ultimately, you are the main person to decide how you should live your life to be happy. If I let people decide how I live my life, literally guys, I would be working in McDonald's by now. Now I'm gonna admit it, like what I'm doing right now, YouTube, I'm just extremely lucky to be in it because a lot of people trying to make it now can't because it's pretty much close to impossible. I started when hardly anyone was doing it. Like right now doing YouTube, it's so saturated. It's like, it's just hard to get yourself out there. For me, YouTube is what made me happy. I was able to come back from school and be happy on this platform where I was able to upload my videos and make other people happy. Because I'm going to be honest, I fucking hated school. I thought school was the worst thing ever. So you know what? I took it upon myself to make myself happy and decided to drop out of school and do YouTube full time. Now obviously I had African parents, you know what I mean? So they were just like, uh-uh. What are you doing? You've ruined your life. I had friends saying you've ruined your life, but you know what? I didn't care. A lot of people that I know try to make other people happy, and I'm just like, why? Why are you doing that? Before you can make anyone else happy, you have to make sure you're happy yourself. If you've got a list of people that are extremely important to you, and you're not at the top, then Jesus Christ, man, something is wrong. So this brings me back to what I said before. YOLO, man, do what you enjoy do what makes you happy think about yourself for once yo now i don't want people to go oh so ksi dropped out of school so you know what i'm gonna drop out of school as well i'm not saying that school is important school is very important the only reason i dropped out was because i was in a position where i was able to drop out and still not be living on the streets i was still be able to look after myself the thing is with school school teaches you to be an employee it doesn't teach you to be the owner of a company, it teaches you to be an employee. Like, why do you think you're never taught how to do taxes or something like that? Because if you're an employee, you don't have to deal with anything like that. For me, I feel like school doesn't prepare you for real life. It just throws you in a building and says, learn this, learn that. And a lot of, a lot of the time I go, why? I don't enjoy philosophy. Why do I have to learn it? I don't enjoy religious studies. Why do I have to learn that? But then I step back and realize that school is literally just the place to help you find yourself. And then once you find that thing in school that makes you happy, you have to just go straight for it and go hard on it. Don't just do what school tells you to do. Do more than that. If you enjoy coding, then go on the internet and learn about all the languages about coding, like C++ and Java and all that stuff. If you enjoy sports, work hard in it. You know, train for it. Uh, find the club, do something to help you get better at it. There's so many examples and, you know, I don't want to bore you with them, but, you know, understand what I'm trying to say. School teaches you the bare minimum and if you want to be up there, then you got to work hard for it, man. I've kind of gone off point, haven't I? <laughs> I started talking about happiness and now I'm talking about school. But, you know, I'll go back to happiness. Before you make other people happy, make sure you're happy yourself. When you walk back through these doors victorious, oh, what's on your heart and your mind? I jumped, man. I jumped in the air. Oh, I'm so happy, bro. Legit, like, I've worked hard for this. I've worked constantly just going at it. 
in the gym, uh, in camp, just constantly going, 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 and then to finally get it. So beautiful. I see your family around you, your friends, everyone celebrating. What does this moment mean, not just for the people here, but when you return home? I mean, it's the best. It's like, I, I can't wait to come home. A winner, a winner, like everyone, Every, a lot of people doubted me. I was the underdog. They were just like, oh, Jay just got no chance. And then I just kept going. I just kept going. I had that in the back of my head. I was like, all right, all these people think I'm going to lose, yeah? I right, fuck that. I don't give a fuck what people think. I'm going to show everyone that I'm a fucking dog. To the winner by split decision from the United Kingdom, the Nightmare.